For the country's clean-up teams, one of the most hazardous jobs they have to deal with is clearing up the mess left by the 18 million members of the UK's pigeon population. If inhaled, the dust from pigeon droppings can cause serious lung infections, including parrot fever and pneumonia. In Leicester, extreme cleaners Dave and Graham are taking no chances. Straight jackets are on. We've got an attic to clean out of all pigeons, pigeon muck, dead pigeons, young'uns, eggs. In the pigeon jobs, you have to have these breathing masks, basically, because pigeon dust is very bad for you. God, this stinks like the inside of an old cortina or something. Pigeons do breed a lot, so might be a bad one. Now togged up to face the worst, Graham can have a quick yeah. peek in the loft. Already there's about five, six dead pigeons in the trap area, so I'm expecting a lot more than that in there as well now. So there's nothing for it but to get the gear up the ladders and get on with it. Despite what's lurking on the trap door and the pigeon graveyard now before them, Dave feels optimistic. Mm, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Can't see no live ones, so that's a bonus. Basically, we're just going to shovel it. That's it. Crack on. For Graham, the first shovel or two of dead pigeons reveals a grisly secret. Well, they've died, all the body fluids are all congealed together and they've all just stuck together like glue. To me, they're just bones with feathers on. Within only 20 minutes of hard graft, the dust and the heat seem to be taking their toll. My eyes are sweating now, you know, when it stings your eyes. I can't see much through this mask at the minute, with all the dust settling on it and that. It's best for the boys to resume proceedings after a quick break for some well-earned fresh air. In Leicester, extreme cleaners Dave and Graham have resumed proceedings, tackling a loft space filled with dead pigeons and their droppings. But the ever-present dust and unrelenting heat doesn't dampen Graham's enthusiasm for his feathered friends. I'm used to pigeons anyway, I used to love them as a kid. I used to catch them down at the town hall and things like that. And if they were racing pigeons, usually they'd have a phone number stamped underneath the wings. So you phone that number up and you're guaranteed to get a quid every time the guy comes back to collect his pigeons, so it was a little earner, really. The average pigeon consumes over 64 pounds of food every year. The kind of throughput which costs over £15 million to clear up annually. So, with a lot more sweeping, bagging and sweating, the downstairs loft space is nearly clean, apart from the last remaining carcasses. See that, though? Where the maggots have been in there, made all the eggs and that. With the afternoon sun beaming through the roof, working in these conditions is proving increasingly difficult. That sun coming through that sky, right? But set ten minutes before you're sweating off again. When you're working in this environment, it's just ever so hard to breathe. You're just sweating, <laughs> dehydrating. And just as they think they can call it a day, Dave takes a peek at the roof space above. <laughs> Bad. Oh my god. It's massive guy. With the unexpected surprise of countless rafters covered in pigeon droppings. It looks like the boys are going to be here for a few more days yet. But on the bright side, at least this evening, they can call it quits. Till tomorrow. After the filming was over, Dave and Graham spent another three days clearing up the pigeon droppings in the roof space. But the result speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs>